Hey everyone, I wanted to make a real quick video for you today to introduce you to some new changes that we've made in the content management system. Um, one of the first things you're going to notice is that the login page has changed and one of the biggest changes you'll see is now that there is this button down here that says or sign in using Facebook. So going forward you're going to be able to log in with your username and password like you have before or you can choose to connect your Facebook account to the content management system and then log in just through your Facebook account. So I'll go ahead and do that to show you how that's going to work. So all you got to do is click on the Facebook button here and it's going to connect to Facebook real quick and then it's going to ask for permission um, to connect the two. So you can see it's going through. It's asking me do I want to give permission to the app and I'm going to go ahead and say OK and then that's going to connect everything and boom log me into the content management system now you'll notice that this is how you normally see it which is great but we've actually made some major upgrades to the content management system what we didn't want to do is force everyone to switch over automatically um, right off the bat so that you're unfamiliar with the way it works so what we decided to do was to create a preview mode and what the preview mode is going to do is it's going to be able, it's going to give you the ability to switch back and forth uh, between the old content management system, the look, and the new look. Um, so what you're going to notice is that right up here at the top there's going to be a message that says we've rolled out our new look, you're invited to preview it here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on the preview it here button and it's going to bring up the new look. So you can see right here we have a welcome message that says you're now viewing the new on top local look and fill. If you'd like to switch back to the default look, you can by clicking on the link at the bottom of each page or by clicking here to return to default. So you'll see that there's this button right here if you want to go back or on the bottom of every page you're going to see down here by the themes default and smart admin this is what we call the smart admin it's gonna make things easier for you um, so but you can always go back at this point to the default so if I go ahead and say you know what I just wanna go back to default I just click that and boom I'm right back to seeing everything the way I'm used to seeing it now so but if I wanna try out the smart admin which I highly suggest you do just go ahead and click the preview it here button and it'll bring you into the smart admin now I'm not gonna to go totally into depth on the smart admin um, I'm just gonna give you guys some highlights and then you can go in you can play with it and give us your feedback of what you think about it but one of the things you'll have is you're gonna have a dashboard here and we're going to give you guys information about what's going on, any upgrades that have happened. So you can see, uh, you know, on December 22nd, we rolled out the publish and preview feature. Um, we did some performance enhan enhancements on February 19th. The new look uh, was applied the 27th, and uh, Facebook login was applied March 5th. So we're going to give you guys what's new going on right here. You're also going to see over on the side here, it'll be called My Websites and that's going to give you quick access to any websites that you control by just clicking on one of those it'll take you to that website so I'll go ahead and click on this one right here and you can see I'm in the editor and I can edit that website we'll go back real quick and then uh, kinda of go through the list and then we'll show you um, the changes on editing the website so another thing that's important that you'll want to see is uh, you also have up here Right now this says PM Carpet because that's the name of this user that I'm logged in under. But normally it'll be your name up there or your company name. And this will actually give you access to your account settings. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see in here that my username is PM Carpet. I've got my name, my email, how long I've been a member, what my time zone is. And we've got a couple of great things right here. One of them is billing. So now you can securely update your credit card uh, right in the content management system. So just by clicking on that button, it will give you a form that you can fill out to securely update that. Now, one thing you'll notice is up here, um, there's a home button and you've got my account. This tells me I'm on the my account page. I'm going to go ahead and click home. It'll take me back to the home or the dashboard. So let's go back in here real quick and I'll show you another little feature. This is something that's um, just fun to play with I guess. But you can see there's actually the smart admin skins. There's different skins you can choose from. So if you click on these we can say well you know what I'd really like the dark elegance skin. You'll notice that it's changed it to a much darker look. Um, or and you can just try these out one of the ones that's interesting is glass 
Um, it's going to give you a bluish background or very different look. So depending on what your preference is, you just pick which one you like and it will remember that for you. And you can always come back and change it in here. So this is your account um, and you'll have your information in here. You can update your credit card. We'll be adding additional features in here like change your password, uh, things like that. Um, but you'll be able to manage a lot of stuff here in the My Account page. Um, so again, we'll go back down to the dashboard. So you're going to get updates of what's going on, access to your websites very quickly right there. And we'll move down to the next tab, which is actually Services. You can see that there's a little plus sign here, which means that there's additional stuff below it. Um, so you can just click on the word services and it's going to break it out for you. What the services tab is, we're really excited about this, is um, we've always been a full uh, suite of marketing services, um, but not all our customers know that. They know us through for the post place. Um, as one of our main products, um, but they don't. They, a lot of our customers didn't actually know that we do additional services, um, like any other marketing company out there. So in this services area, you're going to find information about some of the additional services that we offer. So for example, if you're interested in article writing services, you can click on that. Um, it'll give you some great information on the packages that we offer, where our writers will not only write but post articles for you. And then you can actually just sign up for services. Services, uh, by clicking on the sign up now buttons um, and then there's some other ones again like mobile websites we offer we offer we do offer mobile websites um, so if you need a mobile website built we've got information on that so you can sign up by clicking on one of these buttons or if you just want additional information um, on the uh, mobile website and what it is you can just come into the learn more form put in your information here and then check what you're interested in. So since I'm on the mobile website page, it's automatically going to check that one for me. But I can check any additional services that I'm interested in. And then just hit submit. That'll go to the team. We'll give you a call and uh, we'll answer any questions that you have. So again, um, please feel free to go through, check out all these additional services that we do offer. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, contact us, fill out the form, call us, and we'd be happy to answer your questions. So we're excited about the additional services uh, section. The third section is my websites, and that's what you're used to um, as far as seeing your websites. So if we take a look here, this is my list of websites that this user controls, and you're going to see that things have changed a little bit. Um, one of the big changes is that instead of having your actions over on the right hand side um, and the little icons that you clicked on, your actions have all been moved over to the left hand side and um, put into a list. And the reason why we did this, one, why we put them in a list, and two, why we moved them over to the left hand side is because the we're trying to make these websites as friendly as possible whether you're working on a desktop, a tablet, or a mobile device like your smartphone. So now it doesn't matter what you're on, it's going to fit on the page. Your actions are going to be, occur on the left, so it's going to be very easy for you to click and make changes um, on the website. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on that. So in the actions list we have content page manager and that's basically, if we click on that real quick, that's going to take us to our content pages just like we've normally seen before. Um, and real quick, I'm going to show you, if I click default, it's going to kick over and it's going to show me the way it used to be. So here's how it used to, it used to be. And I can interact with it just like what I did before. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at how it works now. So again, this is how we used to edit our pages, delete pages, move them around. Now we can just click, I'm going to go back to Smart Admin. It'll take me right back to that page. Um, so if I click on this page, I can edit the page, I can delete the page. Page history, that's your revisions. So if you want to take it back um, a couple of changes ago, you can still do that. Um, this one is already your default page or your home page, so that's already marked there. And um, then you have your set don't show in the menu. So this is if you want it to show in menu or not. You can see right here those icons. These are all showing in the menu. But I can easily click that button and it will not show in the menu anymore. So it's hiding a page. And then you have your move up and move down um, buttons here. So move to the top, move to the bottom, move down. So you can move your pages around just like you did before. So all of your actions are still there just like they were before. We've just kind of combined them into a list to make it very easy um, to work with on both, both desktops and mobile devices. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just click edit page and we'll come in here 
And you'll notice again, everything we try to keep it very similar. So it's not too much change, too many changes going on. You've got your page title, everything here. You've got your content editor, all your buttons, everything are the same. Um, so you can edit your content very easily. And then you've got you know your meta keywords, meta descriptions. Everything's the same as you're used to seeing on this page. So you've got a couple of buttons here. You can go back to content, and that's just going to take you right back out to um, the content management part where I can edit all my pages. And now one thing you might notice is that the buttons that were at the top here are no longer up here. And that's because we've moved them into the website actions list over here. So you can add a new page, you can um, go to your image and file manager, you can preview the site, you can edit your header and footer like you could do before, you can go to your form submissions, um, your website settings, um, and then there's also, if you have the post place, you can click right here and go to your post place, or you can click, if you don't have the post place, it'll give you more information about what the post place is, and then you can also open it in a new window. So, for example, let's just say I want to look at my forms. I'm going to click that, bring up my forms, and I'm on my form page. So we'll go ahead and hit back to content. So everything that you could do at the top here, all those buttons, are now available in the website actions drop down. So um, another thing that's kind of cool is if you have more than one website, you can actually bounce around from website to website by clicking on this button up here. So it's going to give me a list of my most recent my websites and my most recently used websites so that I can bounce around between the different websites um, that I want to work on, that I control. So this is your content management for your website. Again, everything's going to be very similar. It's just going to be a little bit different look and it's going to be, um, and you're going to just do your, you know, your actions are going to occur through the action buttons versus having separate little buttons um, across the page. So again, um, everything that was at the top of the page at this section up here is now under website actions. And um, anything you want to do with a certain page on the website is under actions over here. So that's going to be how you edit the website. Um, let's see, another thing you can, you're going to have is we still have the support tab. Um, so, again, here is where you can find um, tons of information about uh, how to edit your website, how to use the post place. Um, you can also update your billing, your credit card here if you want to do it here, but you, like I said, you can do it in the other one. So all of these, this is still here, and um, you can look up just tons of different information. For example, if we tell you that we need you to make us an admin of your Facebook page, you can literally come right here, type in the word admin, and it's going to pull up a list of potential answers. Hey, how to add a Facebook admin. And you can click right on that, and it's going to uh, give you the video to help you out there. Another thing we have in here is we have this Let's Talk feature. If you click on that, um, it's actually going to give you the uh, ability to chat with one of us in the team and you can actually see it puts in my name in here so the team must be messing around because it's Troy Master of the Universe but I can actually start a chat you can start a chat with one of our team members to ask a real quick question or get help on something um, so that's another great feature that we really like that we've added in so please do chat with us um, we'd love to help you out with any things again you just hit home and you have like I said all of the answers to your questions uh, the next part you're going to see is the post place. Now, this particular user does not actually, um, let's see, so here's the post place. So you can see I'm logged in and everything's going to be the same. The article post, the video post, um, it's all going to be there. Now, if the user does not have the post place, you can see it's going to give them a video and let you know a little bit about it. So if you don't currently have the post place, then you're going to get the video and you're going to be able to find out a little bit more about this great product and what it does. Um, for customers that have the post place, you're going to be able to log in just like you do normally and post through the new admin. So again, we'd love to have you try this out. Let us know what you think. Um, let us know if you have any issues, any problems you run into. Um, and again, if you do run into a problem, there's always this default button right down here that you can click and it will take you right back to the previous version, um, the non-smart admin, if you will, and you can do everything you did before just like you uh, did. The other thing you're going to have up here is um, this will be your logout button if you want to sign out. You can just click this 
and sign out of the account. Um, you can actually collapse the menu over there if you want to. Um, if you need a little bit more room for editing, you just click this button right here and that will collapse out of your way. And then you just hover over it and it will come back. Or you push that button and it will come right back. You can also do um, a full screen view if you want to do a uh, full screen as well. Um, so we try to give it, make it as uh, flexible as we can for you. So again, um, please go ahead, play around with it. Let us know what you think. And um, if you have, like I said, any problems or you're confused about what you need to do on a certain page and you want to go back, just click the default button and you'll be right back on the previous version and you can edit it just the way you always did. Um, again, we want to thank you for your time and uh, we look forward to hearing back from you on uh, how you like the new Smart Admin.